This is AutoLine Daily reporting on the global automotive industry. Most of its stores and will shift to selling vehicles online only. Tesla says this will allow it to lower the price of its vehicles by 6% on average. For example, the company is finally offering the Model 3 for $35,000, which was the original target for the starting price. Before the shift, the cheapest Model 3 you could buy was about $43,000. Online-only purchases are a risk for Tesla, but if it's successful, we can see other automakers following suit. There's a management shakeup going on at General Motors. The company's president of North America, Alan Beatty, announced he's retiring after 40 years with the company. He's being replaced by Barry Engel, who's currently the head of GM International. In addition to North America, Engel will also be responsible for the automaker's South American operations. Julian Blissett, currently the VP of GM SAIC, will take over GM International. In addition to that, the company's head of global manufacturing, Alicia Bowler Davis, is leaving the company, reportedly going to join Amazon. Replacing her is Gerald Johnson, who is currently VP of North American Manufacturing and Labor Relations at the company. All the moves are effective on April 1st. In order for fully autonomous vehicles to become reality, they'll need to know exactly where they are at all times. And that's why Toyota has teamed up with Carmera to create high-definition maps for urban and local roads, allowing autonomous cars to travel beyond just highways. The companies will place cameras in Toyota test vehicles to collect data. That info will then be processed by Carmera's real-time platform to create the HD maps. The test will be done over the course of several months in downtown Tokyo. Currently, creating HD maps is expensive and time-consuming, but this new process has the potential to cut both time and cost. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone Tires, your journey, our passion, and by Dow Automotive Systems, advanced materials that deliver better results. FedEx is following in the footsteps of Amazon and will test autonomous delivery robots. The Same Day Bot is designed to help retail stores make last mile and same day deliveries to customers. It's battery powered and uses LiDAR and a number of cameras to navigate streets and sidewalks. The robot will stop at stop signs, let people walking their dogs pass by, and it can even climb over curbs or upstairs. FedEx is teaming up with AutoZone, Lowe's, Pizza Hut, Target, Walgreens, and Walmart for the test, which is scheduled to start this summer in Memphis, Tennessee. Seat, which is part of the Volkswagen Group, is showing off an all-electric concept car called the l Born. And let's get this out of the way first. Yes, the front end looks very similar to a Tesla Model 3. But if you remember the VW ID Electric that debuted back in 2016, you can really see where the car got its styling inspiration from. Also, Seat calls this a concept, but the Elborn looks very production ready to us. Note how there's no wild wheels and tires, and it has traditional mirrors and door handles. The car features a 150 kilowatt electric motor paired to a 62 kilowatt hour battery pack. It can go zero to 100 kilometers an hour in seven and a half seconds and has a range of 420 kilometers or about 260 miles. The L Born will make its debut in Geneva. And a quick update on the story we did the other day that the Porsche Macan is going all electric. Porsche has clarified that the next gen Macan will be EV only starting in 2021 and will be built on a new platform. But it will extend the originally planned life cycle of the current gasoline-powered Macan, which is based on an Audi platform. So the two models will be sold alongside each other at the same time, and they both will be built at the same plant and will have similar interior and exterior styling. Porsche did not say when the current model will go out of production. Ferrari just revealed the replacement for the 488 GTB, 
meet the F8 Tributo. It's got a 3.9 liter twin turbo V8 under the hood, which cranks out 710 horsepower and 568 pound-feet of torque. It moves from 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in just 2.9 seconds and has a top speed of 340 kilometers an hour or about 210 miles per hour. It has 49 more horsepower than the 488 GTB and weighs 88 pounds less. It's the most powerful non-special series car with a V8 engine in the company's history. But that's it for today. Sean says, thank you for watching, have a good weekend, and we'll be back here on Monday. Wards is the industry leader for news, data, and analysis. That's why companies across the globe subscribe to our premium service, maybe even your own. Log in for subscriber access now. Check your company's intranet for details and rely on wardsauto.com to keep you informed.